Oh, I think we're better. Oh, man. Uh, I don't mind that angle. Hey, y'all, it's me, Chris, and I'm taking off the shades. Hey, y'all, it's me, Chris, and I am out hiking, obviously, and I am enjoying the scenery. I'm doing a tight little hike, um, but I want to talk about the direction of this channel and why I am choosing to show more hiking, and also I want to relate my queer stuff to hiking and camping and backpacking and all that stuff. So, as y'all know, I consider myself queer um, in every sense of the word. However, I also, um, I feel like I show up as queer uh, and in my everyday activities in life, um, whether it's work, family, whatever. So um, a big thing I like to do is hike and camp and I'm rediscovering that love. Um, I've always gone camping and hiking and stuff, but lately within the, like literally the past two months, I rediscovered that I love hiking and so I have these two identities that I love um, my queer and my adventure hiking spirit and I feel like I show up queer to these hiking environments because I find solace in it and it helps me kind of be kind of be myself um, so these are a few of the reasons why I like hiking as a queer individual this is the title shot because I'm editing on an iPad and I don't know how to do music. Yeah! So one of the best things about being queer um, in nature while hiking and camping is the nature is the best gender neutral bathroom. Um, honestly, like it takes so much stress off of me to go um, hiking in uh, nature because honestly like nobody goes you're using the wrong tree because that's not your gender and that's not your uh, sex at birth and that's not your whatever nobody can talk shit and I love it and I know that's stupid but oh my gosh it's amazing like I prefer peeing outside than I do in bathrooms because I'll speak about it more later but I'm putting y'all down but I do um, I do use a female restroom because I feel safer, but I always get the cops or like security or the manager call on me by like other people. I don't use the wrong tree. It's amazing. <laughs> Reason number two why I like queer camping and hiking so much is community. Oh my gosh, like there are so many queer groups and communities that you can discover, whether it's through meetup, whether... Um, just a couple weeks ago, I went to an REI class where this woman came up to me and was like, hey, you like REI classes? Are you doing the women's REI camp out? And I was like, oh, uh, no, I'm not there yet socially, but dang it, one day I will. And so she was inviting me to these places and I'm, I'm really looking for a community in Vegas. So, you know, having someone come up to you and be like, hey, like, this is an option. You seem like you're cool. Um, you should totally go. And I've been to a couple REI classes where like I've always talked to, you know, some people and they're like amazing and like they're so cool and like, you know, there is definitely other queer people that go to these classes and we see each other and recognize each other and then like we start talking or something. So it's like there's a community. Also like on Meetup, there's um especially in California, there's the queer women Las Vegas queer women Los Angeles hiking group where like once a month they go hiking as queer people and like they do something and it's so cool um on Facebook there is a Las Vegas queer community hiking group that I'm trying to get up the a courage to go b I keep working on Sundays so um every time they do a hiking I'm tend to work which is weird because I don't usually work on Sundays but for the last two Sundays they, I've had to work but that's cool um so I'm working up the courage to do that but yeah community changing angles third thing I like about hiking as a queer individual is whether people are queer or not hikers and campers are just really freaking nice like nobody ever like questions me and like gives me dirty looks when they just like we're walking past each other and hiking they always say hi um, I've walked in and like summited stuff and they're always saying hi um, camping they're always super nice like I don't have to like I don't feel uncomfortable around these people because um, I don't know if it's like something in like hikers blood or something but they've always I've never gotten like looked or looked at and go or like Ugh, um, because it's funny but like you're usually gross and stinky and like you're usually like just like trying not to die on these like hikes and stuff and I know that sounds stupid but like nobody cares what you like 
what is socially like acceptable as a gender you know n- non-norm or something so it's like it's it's really nice to like not have to worry about that yeah, yeah it's just it's really really awesome another thing i like about hiking as a queer individual is i get to listen to my podcasts my queer podcasts uh i used to sorry i heard someone I hear someone. And we're back. There was hikers passing, but it was a cute puppy. Oh my God. So another thing I like about hiking as a queer individual is I get to listen to my podcasts. Um, I'm a, that I love podcasts. That's my thing. I also like audiobooks and um, just audio media. And I really, for the past like year and a half, gotten really into it. So in California, my commute to work was like an hour there and an hour back. So like I got to listen to my podcast or listen to a good chunk of my audiobook. However, since moving to Vegas, my commute is maybe 20 minutes, if that, depending on how early I have to get to work. So, and I, so me, like, I don't like, um, starting a podcast episode. That's like only 30 minutes and not finishing it. Um, so I take advantage of hiking because I'm not always road tripping. I try to road trip as much as possible, but money time, like prevent that. Um, also living life. But when I'm on a hiking trip with, um, solo hiking trip, I get to listen to my podcast and one of the podcasts I've been listening to, um, a lot. I love her. She's amazing. It's Whitney and her podcast is called Butch, Butch Talk. And it's so incredibly amazing how she tackles all these different topics and she has a guest and they talk about like real ass shit and it's funny, it's raw, it's real, it gets you thinking, it's amazing. So definitely check out Butch Talk. I'll link a, um, I'll put a link down below, but I really like to listen to podcasts and Butch Talk isn't the only one I listen to. Um, if you have any other queer podcasts, please let me know. But that's just one of the reasons why I like to hike is because I get to listen to my podcasts and Audible books. Another thing I like about hiking as a queer individual, and this doesn't really have to necessarily deal with being queer, but it helps. Um, I use hiking as a tool to kind of center and ground myself. I use it as a solo hike or a solo trip or a solo date where I need to get away and I need to get away from society and kind of embrace myself in nature and like recharge and get away from like the heat of Vegas or get away from society and like center myself to being like you know what like you are valid and you are real and like you as an individual whether whatever identity like you you matter and like it really lets me center myself and like when I hit like the peak or like the the part where I want to you know sit down and take a break for a little longer than usual um I you know I use it to write I use it to think I use it to kind of like let myself be and like it's not really meditating because but I guess it could be a form of meditation but like I like to sit down and just listen to nature and kind of be embraced by it and it helps me to kind of get my you know day away or weekend away or whatever however long and then go back to society and be like okay now I could like grind some gears and I can like you know do the nine to five you know work and um, I can like be part of society but I definitely need that break to keep myself sane Um, and that help that is part of my queer identity but also just as a human identity um so that's kind of one of my outlets and my um not outlets but my kind of helps my mental health a lot to where like um I like the performance of you know working I'm um, getting that physical you know st- um strenuous in I like to maybe like tackle some tasks that's like okay well like my stove broke. What am I going to do now? Cold soak? Or what am I going to... I don't know. But it, like, it helps me. Another thing I like about hiking as a queer individual is it helps me in my physical self as well. So I like to use hiking as a cardio. I like to go to the gym, but I don't like to run. I'm doing it more often um, just because of the position I am in at work. But I, when I go to the gym, I lift heavy shit and I put it back down. Well, hiking gets my cardio in to where like I can lift heavy shit, but also like be able to climb a flight of stairs and not die. Uh, so that helps. And that's why I like hiking and like that helps in my queer identity, kind of physical queer identity. And the last big thing that I like 
hiking as a queer individual is I could be my true authentic self and be okay. Um, I have a lot of internalized um, homophobia. I have a lot of internalized shit that I go on, especially with like internalized toxic masculinity or like internalized like not liking myself in both my queer identity but also my identity as I present myself but in nature like and when I hike like I could I feel like I can be whoever I am um and that's amazing because I find myself when especially in um society which I call not in nature so in society I compare myself a lot um whether it's to other uh masculine of center queer individuals whether it's I compare myself a lot and especially to other masculine of center queer individuals um it's not okay uh I don't think I'm good enough I don't think I'm masculine enough I don't think I know a lot I don't think I bring a lot of skill to things so when I but I when I go in nature like that's my jam like I I know how to like you know, make a fire. I know how to like navigate. I know how to like work a compass and like know how to like get to trails and stuff. And I know that like when clouds are coming in, which is right now, like (laughs) you can tell, like, I don't know, like that's my jam. That's my shit. I feel like most comfy in it, but also like, I don't know why this, cause I know there's things in society that I know, but I just, I feel like I don't, but I know that there is stuff that I know. But I'm just so, I beat myself so mu- up so much that in nature, like, I let myself and society, I don't. So, and like, when I camp or, you know, when I go hiking or backpacking or whatever, like, there's stuff that I need to learn skill-wise, but also, like, I I feel like I could be myself. I could be more authentic. I could, like, wear the shirts that I want and not feel like I'm getting judged or, like, the shoes that I want. And, like, I could hike my own hike or, like, I can, like, um, just do my own thing. And, like, you know, you're doing your thing. That's cool. We could talk about what what each other are doing. But it's, like, I feel comfortable hiking my own, own hike. Whereas in society, I don't really feel like I'm living my own life great. And so that's a problem. <laughs> that was some deep ass shit. Um, internalized shit. <laughs> hashtag not spons. Hashtag I wish I was. Hashtag outside with pride. Yes. Pandering, but it's okay. <laughs> Those were the reasons why I like camping and hiking as a queer individual. And I hope you take this video and go, huh. I see that, or huh, that's not me, or. Plus, I have the dog to pull me up. Yep. Oh, hi, Peppers. Okay, I gotta let her loose. Mm. I gotta, I gotta cut from falling the other day for hiking. <laughs> Badass. Another reason why I like to, you know, hike is because the handsome individuals love me, love them some scars. And I hope you realize that I will be talking about queer stuff, trans stuff, um, identity stuff, and the channel will still go in that direction, but also I will be incorporating my hikes, my, um, road trips, my adventures, my road to the John Muir Trail, and maybe beyond that, and I am excited to do those things as a queer individual, and I'm glad I am bringing you guys along, and I hope that You know, you look at this video and go, wow, like, they're not abandoning their original content. They're just adding more to it, and they're showing up as a queer individual doing these things. Yes. I mean, what's what's more queer than going hiking? You have to bring a flannel. Like, you have to. Like, there's no... You can't hike without a flannel. And I think that's the most queer activity ever, in, in my case. So, bye! Thank you for watching! Woo! Puppies! Puppies! I did not want to end this video without saying congratulations to Ash Hardell for your top surgery. That's amazing. Um, and you do you, boo boo. Fuck the haters. Fuck the haters. <laughs> Best gender neutral bathroom, what's up? <laughs>